WTFNN. Headline news update. Welcome, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials down four. NASDAQ is off six. S&Ps are up two and a half. Gold contract up $1.30, trading at 1481 an ounce. You get uh, silver up 10 cents, $17, two cents an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat, $58.54 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year down three ticks, 129.10. The 30 year off 12 at 158.11. Let's get over and take a look at that 10 year right now. What you're going to see out there, folks, is that you get a rejection of lower price. You're going to have lighter volume. Yesterday we pulled back. You're pulling back into the strength out here. Uh, we're at 129.10 right now. We had traded down to 129.02. You're doing 1.5 million contracts, and I believe we're going into something like 2.8, some monster number. 2.37. Uh, so this is going to be intriguing coming into the uh, jobs numbers tomorrow morning because you, we had broken topside on Tuesday, wide price spread, accelerated volume, went from 128.26 to 130. Uh, monster volume, pullback, light volume, that's saying uh, bonds, notes continue to want higher price, lower yield. We get into the dollar, dollar index is making its way down to the lower end of the range that it's in right now. That Now that number, folks, is 97.107. Right now you're at 97.427. And if we go on the opposite side of that dollar, the British pound had broken out yesterday. And we take a look at this pound, which you're going to see the pound right now trading out at a price point of 131.59. Now, this thing looks like it wants to run up to the 135. Now, that will put some more selling pressure, no doubt, inside the dollar. Uh, it's the euro, however, that's 60% of the dollar index, and the euro kind of is just laying there flat again. We're up 21 ticks right now. You're at 110. Now, that being said, the bottom line is that anything over that 110.97 or 110.99 is saying, yes, it does have a shot to get up into this uh, 111 area. We get over and we take a look at the S&Ps. You got a flat market out here. What we had done yesterday, well, Monday, Tuesday, you come down on volume. Yesterday, you bounce with light volume. Today, you're going sideways also with light volume. There's no buyers out here. That's the bottom line. You get 27 million shares traded inside the SPY. Yesterday, they had 49 million. So more than likely, what we're going to see out here, we will do about 45 million. Stay right there, folks. Next 60 minutes of trading coming right up.